PlayStation fanboys, fans of Gran Turismo, diecast connoisseurs, welcome to Level M Diecast, bringing you some Shell Gran Turismo Tarmac Works collab information. This stuff came from uh, a collaboration between the three um, companies, basically, and uh, basically this stuff was stuff that you could get for free um, or discounted rate or whatnot from uh, Shell gas stations in Hong Kong. Uh, not a promotion that was available here in the U.S., but these models have been made available for the U.S. You can pretty much buy these anywhere. Uh, nothing fancy about them. There is four of them in there. First one is the Super RZ 1997. That one looks pretty good. does have your Shell V-Power. Of course, your Polyphony Digital Gran Turismo 25th Anniversary logo on the side. Special edition. There is a Shell logo on the top. Flip this around on the back, shows the other four, the other three models, I should say, in this four car set. See, there is a chance of a secret edition. It is a 4.2%. So we are looking at the Supra. So there is your special edition Supra. Don't know if we'll have one in here or not, but there is your Gran Turismo 7 logo. And it says PlayStation on this side. And of course, there is the Deets, all the socials for all those involved in the collab, which is a lot. Four different companies. Uh, this one is the Evolution 5 GSR. Uh, this one looks especially nice. Looks very, very good. Uh, big fans of Gran Turismo. I have a huge Gran Turismo display uh, that just has Gran Turismo related stuff in it, especially die cast. Um, I've showed that on the channel a couple of times. Uh, you'll see that there is a special edition for each individual model. So this would be for the Evolution 5 GSR. So, don't know if we're going to get any special editions, but maybe we will get lucky enough. This one is very, very, very nice. Uh, this is the 3.0 GT Supra A 1988. Especially like this one. Looks very, very good. I do like the big Gran Turismo logo on the side. Same details. There is the chase piece. If it is there, looks like they're just going to be... I believe they're going to be Zamic um, if there is a chase piece, or they may be gray colored. Uh, with just the same decos on them. Um, and then this last one here, this is an Evolution 6 GSR. This one looks a little bit more race car style, uh, in my opinion, but still looks pretty good. And then flipping it around, there is a chase piece on this as well, of course, because of course there is. So we'll just roll through these in number. Now these should come in acrylic cases. Obviously, um, we're not going to crack the acrylic cases. Um, well, we're not going to... Uh, Remove the models from the acrylic case, I should say. So let's get some scissor action in here. Just get the plastic done up. So we're not going to worry about keeping the plastic or nothing like that. We'll just get that off of there. Pull it off the model. There we go. Get that off of the studio. Pull one to the side. See if we get a chase piece. It's only a 4.2% chance. So um, it's very, very unlikely to get one. This box is like perfectly perfectly folded so we'll pull that out of there so no cheese piece on our first one but there is your supra which looks pretty good take the acrylic cover off of there there is your deets on the base i do like that the uh, base is painted up looks pretty good grand turismo across the windshield banner looks very nice I like the playstation logo on the front little hood scoop on there looks pretty good tarmac makes a pretty mean supra which looks pretty good definitely like that one a lot it's pretty cool. It's a little bit small scale. The Tarmac's always been a little bit on the smaller scale, but that's perfectly fine. I still think it looks really, really good. So that's a pretty nice one. Uh, they are just screwed onto the base in case you're curious. So that one is pretty awesome. So we'll set that guy down. We'll close the box. Throw the box over here. Let this guy kind of chill out there. All right, we're going to take a look at the Evolution 5 GSR. Let's get our scissors on the front side. Plastic off of there. It's a little bit of tape on there. Not a big deal. There we go. Get the plastic off. I hate the box with these little flaps. They drive me nuts. Always got to be super careful. You don't want to tear it. So get something in there to pop the flap open. They don't have like a letter opener or anything. So 
see if there's a chase on this one. Try not to look at it. Maybe that might increase the chances. Oh, nope. No chase piece on this one, unfortunately. So get the scissors out of our way. Same deets on the base as the first one. Of course, just the name is different. The model is fantastic, though. Looks really, really good. Evo is fantastic. Tarmac makes a ton of Evos, and they look super good. So this one is no exception. This one is fantastic as well. And the good thing is, is the wing is not droopy. I did crack open uh, some green light shell stuff the other day, and uh, the wing was droopy on my Escort Cosworth, so I was a little bummed out about that. Um, and then there is a Tarmac logo in the back window, so that's kind of cool. So it's pretty nice. It's a pretty good set. I definitely like this set thus far. Very, very, very happy with it so far. So I'll close the box up and get this guy chilling out there as well. There we go. Put him in the back. Put him on there. Moving on to our next Supra. Because, yes, there's two Supras. So technically, they, they consider there to be eight models in this release because there's four and then there's four chases. Um, they also have an exclusive... Um, uh, container like a small scale container that you can get but um, that one I haven't seen that for sale by itself that was more of a promotional part of it um, more so than the models so I think the models were just kind of made available to worldwide hobby distributors so there is our Supra again it's only 4.2 percent chance to get a chase piece so um, very very unlikely to pull one but um, you know Crazier things have happened, I suppose. So, crack this guy open. See if we get a chase. No chase. So, unfortunately. There is our Supra. Of course, again, printed up all pretty nice. Looks very good on this plinth. This plinth is very, very uh, displayable. Let me put it that way. So, this one is pretty cool. I kind of like the fact that you could actually probably just put this on the wall if you wanted to. It would be ridiculous, but you could. You could. Which looks kind of interesting. There is the Supra. I do like this. Deco. I love the Gran Turismo logo on the side of it. Looks pretty good. I actually have a uh, Gran Turismo tattoo on my person here at Level M. So, that's how much we like Gran Turismo. So, there is the nice taillight Deco's up. Looks pretty good. Does say PlayStation on the top. So, very, very, very nice. So, pretty cool. We don't get too much tarmac on the channel. So, definitely like to take the opportunity as much as possible. Um, this was something, obviously, I wasn't going to pass up. Because, um, like I said, I'm a huge Gran Turismo fan. I collect a lot of diecast in Gran Turismo. And so, once you throw a Gran Turismo logo on it, um, it becomes a desirable for me, for sure. Uh, no doubt about that. So, we're going to move on to our last Evo and our last model. And, of course, the last GSR because there is two GSRs. So this was this was considered a retro JDM festival. So that's why you have older JDM stuff in this mix. That's why they don't have any newer stuff. Um, this was deliberate. So that was just part of the promotion. So try to see which side wants to cooperate. Ooh, don't rip. Ooh, don't rip. Oh, man. Very difficult. I really hate these boxes a lot. Drive me nuts. All right, we're going to get a chase in this one. No. So, no chases, unfortunately, but I, I, it was highly unlikely. Um, it's it's probably less likely that you have a chance in here than you'd find a Super in a Hot Wheels case. Um, this one, like I said, looks a little bit more race car style, just in my opinion. Um, just because this is something I feel like you'd see more race car style, but definitely not rally racing. This is more like uh, touring car racing uh, deco on here. I don't know if you guys kind of understand what I'm saying, but... Um, just kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of, uh, V8 supercars, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, kind of reminds me of V8 supercars, the deco. There is the deets in the back. Of course, it is nice and lensed taillights. Looks like maybe this taillight on the driver side. Well, I guess this would be the passenger side for the domestic market, but driver side here, unfortunately, is a little wonky. Um, looks like maybe both the taillights are. So not something I'd expect from Tarmac, but I don't have a whole lot of Tarmac, so I'm not really sure if uh, quality issues are a big deal with them or not. And then, of course, the seats are painted in there, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we'll throw this down on our little plinth, close the box back up on this guy, put him back 
on the display here. We'll just put the box up there and we'll put him kind of right there. Kind of bring that in. So there you go. That is the JDM Retro Festival Shell Retrosmo 7 Tarmax work uh, collab, uh, promotional collab, I guess you could call it, for the 25th anniversary. Uh, pretty good set. It's a pretty good set. I do like the decos. They look pretty good. Uh, this guy's definitely an oddball because he's yellow and blue versus everybody else's red, yellow, and white. But that's perfectly fine. Give a little bit of a little bit of contrast in there. So uh, let me know what you guys think about those. Let me know if you are avid tarmac collectors. I don't have very much tarmac, to be honest with you guys. Um, tarmac's usually a little bit more expensive. Usually they run 20 30 sometimes up to 40 bucks a piece. Some, some of them get even a little bit more expensive than that. Um, but they are certainly a lot cheaper than Inno. Um, and I don't have any Inno here at the collection. We just don't do Inno here at Love Limb. So uh, drop a comment. You know, I'm going to read them. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Level in the Peace.